one of the most famous disasters of all time, saw the RMS Titanic strike an iceberg on the 14th of April 1912, with the ship sinking in the early hours of the 15th. Much has been documented and written about why the ship sank and who was to blame, but what isn't up for dispute is the fact that around 1,500 people died freezing to death and drowning in a bitter cold ocean. The grim job of recovering the bodies fell to a number of ships, however three days after the iceberg hit, the CS Mackay Bennett made a rather shocking find. Today we look at the remarkable story of the unknown child of the Titanic, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The body of a fair-haired toddler was pulled from the ocean by the recovery ship, the CS Mackay Bennett, on the 17th of April 1912. The ship today is remembered as a ship that recovered the majority of the bodies from the Titanic sinking, and after a seven-day recovery operation, it recovered 306 bodies from the disaster. The toddler's body that was found was described as number four male, estimated age two, hair fair, clothing grey coat with fur on collar and cuffs, brown serge frock, petticoat, flannel garment, pink woolen singlet, brown shoes and stocking, no marks whatever, probably third class. The discovery of a toddler was extremely shocking to the sailors on board, and rather than bury him at sea, they decided to all chip in and pay for a monument for the child, and for him to be buried back on land. The toddler was buried on the 4th of May 1912, and on his coffin was a copper pendant, placed by the sailors at Red, Al Babe. It's clear that the discovery had a profound effect on the sailors, but the identity of this child remained unknown. Before 2002, the child was simply known as the Unknown Child. His body was identified as being a child of around two years of age, and was initially believed to be a Swedish boy, Gotta Paulsen, or an Irish boy named Eugene Rice. These boys both had fair hair, and were both on board the ship when it sank. In 2002, an American TV show named Secrets of the Dead misidentified the toddler as Ino Panula. Ino was a 13-month-old Finnish baby who was also on the Titanic when it sank, and his identity was assumed based on DNA testing of three teeth and a small bone which was very weathered. Ino had been travelling with his mother and four older brothers on the ship, and all of the members of the family perished in the disaster. Because of this, the show managed to then trace a number of relatives linked to the small boy. However, five years later, in 2007, Canadian researchers tested the child's HVS1, a type of mitochondrial DNA molecule, and it did not match the Panula family. This therefore showed that the research for the American TV show was not in fact legit, and the identification was subsequently false. Also, I know Panula's body has never still been recovered to this day, so who was the unknown boy that was pulled from the ocean? From the DNA extracted from the exhumed remains and DNA provided by a relative, there was a positive match to the remains of a child who was 19 months old when the Titanic sank. The DNA revealed that the unknown child was actually Sidney Leslie Goodwin. Sidney was born on the 9th of September 1910 and was the youngest child of his family and he had five older siblings. His uncle Thomas had left England and was living in Niagara Falls, New York, and Thomas would write to Sidney's father telling him about the opening of a power station there, assumed to be the Sholkopf hydroelectric power station. Sidney's father Frederick then decided to pack up his family and move buying third class passenger tickets on board the ship, and they boarded the Titanic in Southampton. Not much is known about the Goodwins family's activities on board the ship, however they might have been separated by gender and based in opposite ends of the ship, with Frederick and his older sons in the bow, and his wife Augusta with Sydney and the daughters in the stern. By the time the family would have known about the collision with the iceberg, chances are that all the lifeboats would have been launched. Because of this, the entire family died in the sinking. Interestingly, one of the deciding factors that helped the identification of Sydney Leslie Goodwin was the existence of some shoes. These were hidden away in a police sergeant's desk in 1912, and provided to be the deciding clue to the identity of the unknown child. These shoes had been allegedly saved by Clarence Northover, a Halifax Police Department sergeant. Halifax was where many of the bodies were taken, following their recovery, and a number were buried there. 
in order to prevent souvenir hunters. Clothing from the victims on board was burned, and the police sergeant didn't have the heart to burn the little pair of brown leather shoes, so he placed them in his desk drawer for six years before retiring. These shoes were the final clue needed to identify the boy, and it was shown that they were too big for a child that was only 13 months old, like the previously thought Ino Panula was, and it's believed now that they belong to Sidney Leslie Goodwin. For when you consider the initial description of the unknown child, he was also initially wearing brown shoes. So today in Fairview Lawn Cemetery in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in Canada, lays the grave of the unknown child. This unknown child, almost a hundred years later, would be identified as Sidney Leslie Goodwin, and his story remains one which is common with the Titanic, of a third-class passenger perishing in the cold water, with no chance of survival. Sidney Goodwin today is known for being the youngest recovered victim of the Titanic, a mere 19-month-old boy whose parents dreamed of their family beginning a new life across a pond in America. Thanks again for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.